What's up, brothers and sisters? Your brother G World 7 underscore D. I just want to make this quick video. It seemed to be a jackass is on my YouTube page claiming that the terminology sub Saharan is not racist. It's very racist. Oh, it just refers to Bantu. But, you know, the Bantu went beyond what is called sub Saharan area. They did go into North Africa. See, the idiot didn't even study ancient Egypt where you had the little twa type black person who was in ancient Egypt. But this is obviously a white person coming on my page. Now I'm going to do just block your ass. Because <laughs> I don't have time for that. And I know this. I know I stay this more than your dumb ass. And it's sad how the truth is now coming out. And these bastards, what they want you to do now is they're afraid that more and more people are starting to get wise up and start learning the truth. And it really freaks these bastards out, man. I want you brothers and sisters to do your homework. To sit there talking about, well, number one, not all so-called Negro people are Bantu. That's one. Another thing is that the fact that even the so-called Bantu went beyond south, south of the Sahara of Africa. <laughs> they went beyond the Sahara Desert or what is now the Sahara Desert, beyond those limitations. These idiots that come on here, man, and then we'll throw different names, different terms. These are obviously goofy white boys who don't know what the hell they're talking about, but they want to continue to push a line and agenda. <clears throat> I knew this would happen. How you get these goofy white people and non black people coming on my site and then talking about reading indigenous books. Uh, reading books written by mongoloids? Nah, no, I, I pass. But I do my research, I read. Numerous of books. I, like I said before, I come from an educated family. So I don't need no white or some non-black person with their pale ass trying to claim that all black people come, or American blacks, come from sub-Saharan Africa. Or that quote, the, that terminology isn't racist, which it is. There's a lot of racist anthropology terms. Because a lot of those terms that they use, like I said before, they try to use to divide up very different groups of black people to write themselves into the history. They want to make some groups... That's less blacks than other blacks when they all are the same damn thing. And this is what these bastards have done. And this is the bastard coming to my page. Like I said, I'm going to block your ass. And I want your ass on my page because I'm not going to go there. I'm going to continue to bang and get my information, my sources. I have so much source to prove what the hell I'm talking about. And I can talk about that Sahara even more. Like I said, the Sahara was not always there. So those so-called Bantu who are now, a lot of them, Majority of them are south of the, what is now known as Sahara. They were further north before at one time. See, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. But it's typical that you get these goofy white boys, these ignorant white boys and women, want to come on your page and to continue to distort and lie about history. They have been misinformed and miseducated. But I'm going to teach my brothers and sisters, what I have learned from a long line of educators in my damn family. Go to hell. Take your white ass somewhere else <laughs> and off my page. <laughs> okay? And I'm going to tell you like that. But I'm going to continue, like I said, to bang on my history and our history as black people, as aboriginal people of this land and globally. So take your albinoid ass somewhere else. <laughs> 